Let's talk about extended events. These are a slightly older feature, like it says on the screen, the SNO8 feature. They've been around for a while. They're designed as replacements for SQL Tracer, SQL Profiler, which are technically deprecated, but people still use them. What they allow is, uh, it's, it's effectively, you could think of it like a SQL Trace. You put it on and it captures events. It runs um, in your extended events list and we'll go and have a look at how they work, but it captures what you want it to capture, basically. They were designed as a replacement for Tracer Profiler because Tracer Profiler are quite resource intensive and they can put uh, a decent load on a server when they're running. So Microsoft came up with extended events to try and be lighter touch. You still don't want a bunch of them running all the time, but they are, um, they have less overhead than, than things like profiler. And this is different to SQL server. These store data externally from SQL server. These store it in a log file. So you have to give it a file location and it stores externally because these are server liver traces, not database. Okay, uh, so some key concepts of what an extended event is, and we're going to go look at some T-SQL in a minute, but just so we understand these. So an event is something that happens within a SQL server, like a dead lock or a login attempt. A session is the, the event itself that's running. The target is where you're storing the data. You don't have to store it in a data file. You can store it in a ring buffer, but your server gets restarted, you lose your extended event data because your read buffer gets nuked. Your action can be, um, we'll go and have a look at that, but it's additional data that it captures when it runs. Uh, predicate, where login name equals rich banner or whatever, you know, predicates. An event class, um, that's an, we'll, we'll go through that, but that's a, an extended event specific setting. So, two ways to create an extended event. Um, you can create them through the GUI, now, if you're not comfortable with extended events, uh, what they have available, what they can do, the GUI is a nice way to be able to go look at it and go, oh, so this is everything I've got available to me. You can move columns in and out and things like that. Doesn't scale very well. Once, once you've got the extended event you need to create, you want to script it out and then you've got the T-SQL. You can just turn it on, turn it off via code. Uh, we all love code with DBAs. Uh, so why extended event and not profiler? So profiler is something we see used, what I see used more often than I'd like to. And what most people do is um, they're trying to find out what queries are running or what um, users execution a query, execute a query right now. They'll turn on profiler, which captures everything. It puts quite a strain on the server when they're trying to troubleshoot because you've got a problem. You don't want to be, if, if you're in a problem situation, if you're fighting a fire, you don't want to be putting extra effort, extra workload on your server. So extended events is a great alternative to that. Plus extended event, you're more focused. You could say, I only want to capture login events or capture executions of this particular query. And it only does those. And you can write those ahead of time. So you've got a little toolbar ready for you.